Hello everyone, this is Cheryl. I'm here today to share with you my October design team project for the Graphics Fairy. This journal is a beekeeper's journal and I wanted to do something a little different than my normal journals and I've been playing around with the altered file folders and it occurred to me maybe I could merge the two together and and I also, I, I hate getting in a creative rut, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over. I'm sure, I'm sure you all can relate to that. And how I constructed this journal is I used a vintage Reader's Digest book that I cut down so it was smaller in size and then I rounded the edges. And just to soften the look, I added some lace to, to, the, to the spine and all the way around the front. I did leave it off the bottom just because I thought if you were storing it upright it might look a little better if, if it wasn't there and also it wouldn't get in the way. But I've used this beautiful fall colored printed cotton fabric. I'm sure we're all familiar with this fabric but I just I thought it went well with the graphic print that I, I um, designed and put on the front because I made it more of a brown tone when I was designing it. And how I made this is I used from the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site, I used three of their images. I used the, the bumblebees or the honeybees, the um, bee skep picture here you see, and then in the background I used their honeycomb and I kind of just faded it so you can you just see it subtly. I have then used the um, freezer paper method to print it out on my inkjet printer and then I, um, I've sewn it with some decorative stitching and inked the edges. The fabric was coffee stained a little bit um, before I printed it out um, so it, it kind of looks really really aged and then I've added this, this lace flower to the corner and added an antique button that has the original thread in the center. And then to balance it out, I put one down here in this corner. I've used a sari silk ribbon for, for the closure. And let's take a look inside. Here you will see I have given the front and the back lace pockets that I have coffee stained and I added a little antique key. I thought maybe the beekeeper might have a lock on the hives and then I've attached it with a rusty safety pin. And here I've used one of the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site graphics. It was a picture it looks like it was originally from like the 1800s and I just reduced it down so it would fit this journal and attached it to some aged fabric. And then I've used one of their, their maps and I, I, I used the wax. I used a clear wax on the front but then used a stained wax on the back. It's some um, chalk paint wax is what I used. And then I, I did ink around the edges too before I did the waxing and stuff. So, But it, it was already a really old looking map too. So it probably would have been fine without the ink. And here I, it's just a, a bee, it's an article from one of my antique bee magazines. I think it's from the late 1800s and I just reduced it down. I thought that beekeeper might want to read that article. And here you can see as we open up the altered file folder, I've done another one of these um, prints on fabric. And this time I used the bees like the like on the front, but then I added the beekeeper. And then this little advertisement for hive syrup. And so as we unfold the file folder, you can see it, it, it folds out nice and I've added three pockets with some coordinating fabric and some vintage lace and 
then because this 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 style can only house really like a TN style or size um, journal and also just basically one signature. So that's why these little pockets are, are useful because then you can put in journaling cards and other little notebooks. Here I took, I think it was maybe from last month, they, the, the bundle set for the Graphics Fairy Premium site had these this neat little book cover. So I thought, oh, how, how neat it would be if I just shrink it down. And so I printed out two of the covers for the front and the back. I think I, I printed it out like a four by six and then reduced it to like 20%. But then this was part of one of their bookmarks. I cut one of the bees out and used, used the honeycomb as a little bookmark. And then I added some I think this is like seam binding, some black seam binding, but it fit perfectly for the spine. And then I just, I printed it out on both sides just so I didn't have to bother, you know, doing anything to the inside. It still looked kind of old. And I just used the scraps from, from the journal when I was making it. So it just, just, just sweet. I love, love little books. And then here I've just, made another little piece of ephemera. This is from my late 1800s um, beekeeping magazine. So I just thought that was kind of sweet. And here, because you're limited on journaling space in this, this style of journal, I've, I've made little, little journal notebooks. And here I've made some more paper using the graphics fairy images. And so I just, and this is from an old book. It was an old book page, so I added that to this little one. But And this is the back cover of that antique magazine. And I just shrank it down so it would fit in here. And so let's go into the main journal portion. I added some antique um, doily paper and some scrapbook paper. And here I took... It was from a book page, and I just made a little heading there. So we got aged up tracing paper, some Edith Holden pages that had some bees on it, and some antique blank ledger paper, and some antique music paper here. I've used some more of their images and just laid it out on the page where I wanted it and printed it out onto some aged paper and attached it with some Tim Holtz washi tape. And here's some more beautiful scrapbook paper. Here I used a, a glassine bag that I antiqued up. And I put a, this was from one of my antique um, spelling books. And it says, what the bee says. So I thought it was pretty as a mother and daughter sitting out by the, their hive. And here, this, this is from an antique spelling book. And it had to do with... Be, it has a sentence that says, bees swarm in the warm sun. So I included that. And just tucks really nicely. Some more of the Edith Holden page. And here, this I think was from last month's bundle from the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site. I just loved the squirrel and I thought, kind of went the coloring. I know it's not really bee related, but I liked it. And then I cut that corner out to look like honeycomb. And this was a grungy tag set that they had on their website that I, I just thought she was sweet. I figured this is this is her little journal. So I just attached a picture of her in there. And then here's some blank music page. This was a printable that was on the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site. It was supposed to be a pillow box, but I thought it would make a nice hidden, you know, pocket for the stitching and so I just closed it up to hide the stitching but and then I printed out on the membership site they had it came with I think I don't know four or five um, bookmarks and so I've included those and I just thought they you know I come down just a little bit to fit perfectly in this the, the pillow box but I thought that was a nice little hiding place for the bookmarks here, this was from my antique beekeeping magazine. I just 
printed it out on aged paper and attached it with some washi. Here we have some Edith Holden pages, again, that had the bees. And here, this is a beautiful image. I think this was from last month's bundle on their premium membership site. Usually don't like to leave the white, but I should attach some stained paper. And in here, I just took one of the bookmarks that had the honeycomb on it and just made little tabs for these index cards. And this was on the beekeeping bundle on the membership site. And I've just attached it to some aged paper. And here I just added some little tech spot. These are all vintage items or antique items. A little ticket and a game playing card. So, and then I've stitched around all the pages and stuff. For some reason it's hard for me to, to leave the coffee stain paper without stitching. So, And here's some more Edith Holden and some tissue paper. And some more bee-related ephemera I've added. You can write on the back. And here, since we are limited on journaling space, I've made another like little notebook. This has another um, beekeeping magazine cover. And inside I just added some antique paper and coffee stain paper. This had the honeybee dictionary page, so I thought that was nice. And again, just, just some more areas to journal. And it tucks nicely in there. And I made a little file folder with a beehive on some embossed inked cardstock. And then just another page from one of my beekeeping magazines from the late 1800s. And a little pocket was, I used some vintage and antique lace to to, you know, just embellish the, the pockets. So in order to close this up, you kind of, you know, kind of fold it up like this. And it folds over nicely. And here I used um, one of the library cards on the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site, did an overlay of the bee from their beekeeping bundle, and then added some, some text to it. And here, this was some more little graphics that I got from their website, too. Again, that little girl. This is the original little picture they had on there. And then this I just printed out. It was, was a 5 by 7 page that they had, and I just shrank it down. And I just added some antique ledger on the inside so you have some journaling space so I guess I will play around with that later um, here I just added a um, antique optical lens to just to the lace pocket and um, that is it short and sweet I hope you all enjoyed my, my design team project, and I look forward to seeing you all next month with November's project. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you all. Bye.